Hi, and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. As we gear up to welcome our nearly 30,000 students and 3,000 employees back to school, albeit in a virtual environment, I wanted to take just a few moments to welcome our parents and community and provide a brief update on what to expect. It's hard to believe all that has occurred in the past five months since we had to abruptly close our schools due to COVID-19. I am so inspired by the dedication, the flexibility, talent, and innovation that I have witnessed as we have worked to meet the challenges of the spring and to plan the reopening of our schools in the fall. Basically, TBUSD has had to completely change the way we do business rapidly and at every level of the organization. I want to thank so many TBUSD families for taking the time throughout the summer to correspond with me. I have appreciated your kind words, your encouragement, your thoughts, and your prayers. I know what was supposed to have been a time of relaxation, vacation, and enjoying your families was instead, for many of you, filled with anxiety and uncertainty as to what school might look like and how you would juggle being a parent, a caretaker, employee, or business owner all at the same time. I want you to know that while I may not know each of your personal situations, I assure you that we have been working hard to provide as many supports for as many of you and your scenarios as we possibly can. If I were to pick a word of the year for this school year, as some school districts do, it would undoubtedly be grace. Grace is what I have asked our staff to provide to our families. Grace is what I have asked our staff to provide to our students. Grace is what I have asked our staff to provide to each other. And grace is what I have asked our staff to provide to themselves. Now I ask the same of our families. No one knows what others are personally experiencing as a result of this pandemic. Many of us are concerned about the health of our families, and this includes our children as well as our parents. We are concerned about how to work and educate our children at the same time, and how to ensure that our children continue to thrive socially, emotionally, and academically. We are also experiencing economic issues, including the loss of jobs and the ability to buy groceries. These are serious issues, and everyone is navigating and attempting to get through them as best they can. We can always, however, always be kind, and we can always extend grace amidst all of the craziness that we see on the news and all of our personal worries and stressors. I ask that we continue to be kind to our teachers and our staff, to our administrators, to our neighbors, and to ourselves. I ask that we extend grace to all. After all, we have never done this before in TBUSD, attempted to educate all of our students and stakeholders in a virtual environment. Teachers in the district are working tirelessly this week to learn their new online learning management systems and to plan for the first weeks of school. While curriculum teams work throughout the summer to transition all materials into the online systems, Teachers are now faced with making it come alive, making it real for their students to interact on a daily basis. This is critical, as the quality teaching and learning that we pride ourselves on in TBUSD is predicated on relationships and student engagement. This leads me to something that I'm concerned about. While we all yearn to return to what we consider normal and are all dealing with frustrations on adult levels, our students need to, us to be there for them and they need us to reassure them that this is a point in time in their lives, not their forevers. I have started the year off with reminding staff of an old adage, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. While it will always be our goal in TBUSD to focus on ensuring that all students receive a high quality education, no matter what format we deliver it in, ensuring our children are connected and supported is our highest priority right now. Please know how hard teachers are working to do this and that they will be spending additional time this fall to ensure that they establish strong, personal connections with each student. 
Student engagement is another critical piece. As a mom, I would absolutely not want my child in front of a device all day. That's why it's important to remember that the devices allow teachers to meet and communicate with students, but they are just one tool. They will not be used for every project or lesson. As you will see in some upcoming parent videos, this is an area we are committed to ensuring, as no one likes to be in front of a device all day long, even us as adults. Over the course of the summer, we've shared with you many logistical updates about the return to school. We have updated our district and school websites with information to assist families with schedules, meals, parent resources, devices, internet connectivity information, and much, much more. You can also expect more details and examples from your child's principal and teachers, including those brief video tutorials I mentioned that will assist you in establishing routines at home and creating learning spaces, in addition to a lot of other topics. We are fortunate to have teachers and administrators making these videos, even some using their own children as the actors. The ultimate goal, of course, remains to return to traditional on-campus learning experiences while offering choice for teachers, parents, staff, and students who opt to work and learn online. Until that is allowed in our area, however, we have done our best to reinvent learning and delivery systems, as well as redesign supports and services, all while continuing to plan for the safe reopening of our campuses. The focus on student employee, student and, excuse me, employee safety, ensuring equitable academic opportunities and maintaining support for all continue to be our guiding priorities. As I reflect on the work that has been done and the countless hours that have been spent by so many throughout the summer, including our governing board, our administrators, teachers, and staff, I am grateful for and confident in the preparations that have been done to be ready for students on Monday, August 17th. TBUSD will continue to do great things for them, but we will experience obstacles. We will experience hiccups and we will experience things that no one could have predicted. It's, it's, it's inevitable. As confident as I am in our preparations, I am equally confident in the resiliency of our TVOSD community. I know that with the right support and structures in place and our can-do spirit, we will overcome the issues that we experience. While the start of the school will look differently, our primary purpose does not change. Our goal is to educate and connect with compassion one student at a time. I want to close by once again thanking you, the entire TVUSD community, for your continued support. We will all be stretching and performing outside of our traditional normal roles in some way or another this year. Please be kind to yourselves and to others. Give yourselves and others the grace to struggle. And finally, I want to reassure you that this is not our new normal. This is a point in time, a part of our journey, not our destination. What we make of it, how we react and we embrace it, will determine our district's legacy, not the current pandemic. I am so thankful to be a part of TVOSD, and I'm grateful and honored for the opportunity to serve our community. Have a great, albeit very different, start of the school year, Temecula Valley.